is spinning. Greetings, 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 everyone. Welcome to the Changing Minds Online broadcast today. Thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful live stream. We decided that we're going to visit you at least once a month now to, uh, you know, connect and build and things of that nature. Yes. And so I am Dr. Akina Finch, and this, of course, is my lovely co-host, my lovely co-host, Vanessa mm -hmm. Kemp. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. How are you? So, I am yeah. doing well. I'm doing great. I'm great. I'm great. How are you doing? Uh, girl, living the life, honey. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Um that we are doing this because so many people reach out to us. And um, so we just gonna give them a little some, something to hold them over for um, the time being. So we're gonna do this once a month as Dr. Finch said. And, um, and, and I just want you to let us know, how are you enjoying these messages? Feel free to share it out, feel free to comment um, because we definitely wanna be able to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So tell them, like they can't see it on the screen, right? Right. So tell them what we're talking about today and why we're talking about it. Hmm. Are you misusing your purpose? Oftentimes people say they don't know their purpose, right? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes those that do know that know their purpose, they can misuse it, right? Mm -hmm. We want to be able to help you guys to understand um the difference um, with misusing your purpose because we all have a purpose. We all have something we need to be doing here on earth, right? And so let's not misuse it. No longer are we just going to um, overlook our purpose, mm. right? That's a good comment. Um, you, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember when I first, I, 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 for years, people always come to me asking for advice. Just mm -hmm. eh, whatever, no biggie, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm really not thinking like that. I'm just thinking of a person, just you know, just I'm gonna give you my advice about something and I'm just gonna move on about my way. But then now more people are coming to me, they're referring people to me, just that, just and I just do the same thing, right? Sometimes we could duplicate bad habits and we don't even know it, hmm. right? And mm -hmm. so now they are, they know that you have something, but they turn around and they just use it up. Well, I'm, she gave great advice. Go over there and ask her. And you just being a big hearted person and you just go here and just tell them. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, now they told somebody else. And now you depleting yourself because you're giving your all to this situation because you see the best in people. Is that making sense? So how, how much are we going to keep on doing that? And then next thing you know, oh, dang, what's my purpose? Mm, that's a good question. That's a good question. You know, we got a couple of people coming in, joining us. Hello, Joyce Gilmer. Hello, Natasha. Alan, how are you? If y'all are in there, please comment wherever you're seeing it, because I shared it a couple of places. I know Vanessa did as well. So comment and we will check it out because we have this wonderful thing where we can see where y'all are at. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. So Back to the regular schedule program. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes, y'all know I had to be silly. So, purpose. So, I think this came up the other day uh, when we were talking um, about uh, the month is half gone. What have you done? What have you learned? Mm -hmm. And that jogged a lot of memories. You know, some people said, oh, I, you know, I learned this about myself or I did that. You know, sometimes uh, some it was introspective. Some was, you know, uh, goal driven, you know, whatever the conversation was. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then some uh, was more purpose driven. Mm hmm. Uh, and they didn't know they were being purpose driven, but it was purpose driven. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have a conversation just because, 
uh, and then it turns into like a life lesson. Now, think about it. Do y'all resonate with that? You know, and this is what this came out to be. It started turning into a life lesson. And so when you are in a point in your life where everything is flowing very fast mm -hmm. and you feel out of control, mm -hmm. you tend to uh, get a lot of anxiety. Let's call it what it is, right? We get a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. And because we get a lot of anxiety, uh, we we'll, don't know how to handle all that nervous energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, and you can stop me, Vanessa, when you, you read the tag in. Okay. But you get all this nervous energy. And that's where the rubber meets the road, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why does the rubber meet the road? Because that's usually where most people are like, oh, I'm quitting it, forgetting it. I'm not about to deal with it. This is just too much for me. I'm feeling overwhelmed. All the things. Okay. And especially happens when you try this one particular thing over and over and over again. Okay. And you get to that same point and you run off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, in the year of 2020, this is the year of execution, ladies and gentlemen. This is the year that those things are going to start getting done. This is the thing where all of those uh, mistakes, mishaps, all that cleanup, fix up needs to happen this year. Okay. Because this is the year of perfect vision, as they say. Mm -hmm. Right. So since this is the year of perfect vision, what are you going to do with this perfect vision? If perfect vision, if you have perfect vision, shouldn't you start having perfect purpose? Oh, hold on. Did I? Oh, Jesus. Did that one just roll off my tongue like that? Did that just roll off? Mm. Could this be the time that you're supposed to step out into your greatness? Could this be the time that you're supposed to lift everything up that needs to be lifted up that you've been hiding in the background? Could this be the time? So we said, are you misusing your purpose? Let's be clear. If you're not working it, yes. The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but they're going to say, oh, uh, because, you know, I got an answer for all these. I'm getting ready to drop just so you know. Because, you know, but that's going to help me out. You know, I hope you guys are taking notes of us, what's being said and take this really serious. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because look, mm -hmm. so what what's a good one, Vanessa? Let me let me let me get it put it into my memory banks. A good one is, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be here to do. Have you just sat down within yourself and said, mm -hmm. Who am I and what am I here to do? Mm -hmm. I, when I get foggy, I do a brain dump. And y'all say, what's a brain dump? A brain dump is a way to get your emotions out. I take mm -hmm. a piece of paper and I write me in the center with a circle around. Mm -hmm. And I write all these words that come to my mind when I'm thinking about me. Mm -hmm. And then once I look at all these words and I group them together, okay? Mm -hmm. And the one that has the biggest group is usually where the gifts are flowing. Okay? But guess what? Hold on. Mm. But just because the gifts are flowing over there, it might not be what you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. But let's be clear. A lot of people are passionate about singing and sound like hyenas. A lot of people <laughs> are passionate about running and know that they got two left. A lot of people are passionate about writing and can't put a syllable together. You know, whatever it is. Now, that may not be our purpose. That may not be our gifting. Mm -hmm. We may like it, but it may not be our gifting. Mm -hmm. However, what our purpose is, we don't want it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a lot of ministerial friends, and most of their stories said I ran, 
I ran. I ran. I think I know two people that said, Woo, I jumped for joy when I found out I'll probably be a preacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all spade to spade. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, that may not have been where they wanted to be, but that is where they were supposed to be. Mm hmm. That is what you purpose for. That's what you put on this earth for. That was what you were supposed to do with yourself. But it's okay, you know, that mm -hmm. you don't want to do it. You just mm -hmm. eventually, guess what, though? Guess what? It's something I don't want to do. Something I really, really, really don't want to do. And it's not because it sucks or anything. It's because all the stuff that comes along with it, the connotations of it. That right there is a reason why most people run. It's not because mm -hmm. they don't like it. It's because of all the stuff that come with it. Will they mm -hmm. like me? What are they going to say about me? Am I going to lose all my friends? Am I going to lose all my family? Am I going to do this? Is do that? Am I going to be standing there on the island? Guess what? Sometimes you got to stand in your own convictions, whether or no. Mm hmm. And you got to be okay with being comfortable being alone with yourself. Because if you need a whole lot of validation, honey, <laughs> that purpose work is getting ready to be something else. Mm -hmm. You're going to be waiting. That purpose work is getting ready to be something else. Yeah. Well, come on with it, Vanessa. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not monopolizing all this good time here. <laughs> This is the thing that, unfortunately, too often, we want to take people with us that's not supposed to go with us. Mm -hmm. We we dragging dead weight, and we wonder why we moving slow, why we are heavier than need be. Mm -hmm. you, sometimes when you are in elevation mode, some people are just not there yet, and you have to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Even and when they are not okay with it, you have to be okay with it. And if we too busy worrying about if they're gonna be at the finish line. I'm just saying, sometimes you have to accept the fact they may not be there, but you got to remember your purpose is your purpose. Mm -hmm. And if that means you finding people along the way that really believe in your purpose and your vision, they're going to be there at the beginning. They're going to be there in a halfway point where your legs are falling and, and you feel like just quitting because you feel like a muscle cramp has come along. They're going to mm -hmm. join you in the in this in this journey. They're mm -hmm. going to turn around and, 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 and support you at the finish line. But you got to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that is really hard, especially we have these big hearts and we want to see the best in everybody. Mm -hmm. and, and that right there, seeing the best in everybody will really trip you up. It's going to trip you up where to the place where now you at the complacent mode because they complacent. Oh, come on now. You know? And so if you are, if you so-called say, so so-called say, I, I, I want to be able to have better. I want to be able to do better. I want to be able to show my children better. I want to leave a better um, legacy. I want to be able to create memories. Then you're going to have to make uncomfortable decisions. Mm -hmm. and, and, and uncomfortable, it doesn't mean how they feel and they uncomfortable, uh, how uncomfortable it may be. You have to be un uh, okay with being uncomfortable because you have been used to and accustomed to just being um in your dysfunctional behavior and your dysfunctional decisions. And so be okay with being uncomfortable so you can be able to get to this place of purpose. Purpose is going to come along with some pain. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to be easy, but don't be that person to take shortcuts just to get to the purpose. Right. So many times people will see that, you know, say Dr. Finch is at this whole way higher level. She's this doctor, but now she's a doctor on top of doctors. But they just don't know the things that she had to go through to get to that doctor, doctor, doctor level. Right. Right. She didn't have to cheat her way to get there. So many people cheated their way to get there. And they think that they can be able to hold that doctorate that they've been that they received by honorable mention. And now they're a doctor, but they didn't do the doctor work. But now they call themselves a doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. So don't cheat your way to get to the purpose. Do the groundwork. Build the foundation. Plant some seeds. You know, get in the trenches. Be okay with being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So you can be able to look back and say, dang, I came a mighty long way. Mm -hmm. You know, I came a mighty long way. 
because your children are looking, your grandchildren are looking, somebody is looking, somebody is depending on you to be able to show them that it's possible. No matter if you came from the projects, if you came from the, the corner store to the, to the White House, it doesn't matter. You started somewhere. And if you could be able to show people that I started somewhere, mm -hmm. you can too, but you got to be willing to get in the trenches. So oh, no. <laughs> it, it's, it's possible. It is really, really po possible, but you got to understand your purpose hold power. And with that purpose holding power, you, you're going to be in a position where some people going up, um, do anything they possibly can to piss you off. Mm -hmm. They they gonna do it. They gonna test it, baby. Yeah, they are. You're already gonna get tested anyway because the devil don't want you to see purpose anyway. But now you got the folks that want to connect with you that really have their own intentions, and it's really not good intentions. But they have their intentions. They come like you know, um, you know the ones that smiling and want to check in on you and everything else, and really mm -hmm. they not. <laughs> You know what I mean? You, you got to be able to pray for that insight, right? Yeah, all right now. To, to be able to pray for covering. Come on now. You know what I mean? And protection. To make sure that you get the real people that's around you that's going to hold you up, push you to purpose when you feel oh, like, I, I can't get there. It's, it's, I'm struggling right now. We oh, all yeah. struggle. I, and I'm just not speaking from experience. I, 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 a hundred percent, I bet you, mm -hmm. Dr. Fitch struggled with purpose too. Oh, of course, of course. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we human. We are human. So with you being human, understand your purpose going to challenge you. That and, and not only challenge you, it's going to put you in a place where you say, you know what, I'm, I'm so sick of this. This is not for me. I'm ready to throw in a towel. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I could bet you, go ahead and try to throw in that towel. Go ahead. Go ahead and throw in a towel. Go, go ahead and throw in a towel. Honey, you must have been talking some good stuff because you tried to go off. Go. And see how far you get. Go ahead, Dr. Fish, take over. All right now. All right now. Well, I see some people are chiming into the conversation here. So we had Natasha saying, I love the fact. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can do it. Hold on. Shut up now, Doug and Natasha. I love the fact that making connections with the like-minded people is it's not easy, but it's worth it. That's right, girl. Work it. You know, we got to make those connections. We got to make those connections. And then... Can you hear me? Yes. We Yeah. So then... And then we have the Adrian, you know... She's like, right now it's hard because I feel like, uh, like Job. Yes, yes, yes. And I am by myself. You know, sometimes you have that Job moment, honey. Sometimes you have to have that Job moment. But, uh, to, but remember, you know, you got to go through and we're showing ourselves approved. And then one day, what happens? What happens? He shows up and shows out. You know, it's like, it's greatness, right? So let's see here. Let's see what else we have. So if y'all have something that y'all want to contribute to the conversation, because, you know, it's not just us. You know, we, we love these two-sided conversations. We're going to pop you up in. We're going to talk about it. So let's talk about this Job moment. Can we talk about the Job moment? You know, a lot of us have those Job moments. Uh oh, I have my friend Michaela, uh, Michaela coming up in here now. Uh oh, let's put that up there. Sometimes the journey is hours and hours to walk alone. Yes, shows up and shows out. That's right. That's right. So now we all in here now. We all getting it together. Yes, it's and then of course D. Adrian pops in with yes, it's just a season. So we all get it. We've all been there. We all know what's up, right? And then, so I'm gonna pop my uh, pop my codes in here. Da, 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 da. Hello, 
<laughs> All right now. So Vanessa, we're gonna talk about this job moment this season. Cause you know, everybody is really feeling that topic right now. Okay, come so, on. Yeah, you know, sometimes we have a season. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we want to give in and put out the towel, but guess what? Usually in those seasons is when our iron is sharpened. We done got too comfortable and too complacent and everything was going easy peasy. And we were like, no, I don't feel like growing. And he's in your voice. It's time to grow. No, but I'm doing real good. It's time to grow. No, 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 no. We're doing real good right here. We're making our money. We're doing the things. It's time to grow. And mm -hmm. then what happened? Boom. He got to shake it up. No, let me let, let's be clear, ladies and gentlemen. I have a I have a t-shirt on this, believe it or not. This is funny. Sometimes when you ignore the small steel voice long enough, he has a way of snatching you out of that comfort zone. Oh Jesus. He has a way of snatching you out of that comfort zone. Jesus. And you are like, what is really going on in this street? Hmm. Who could have done it when he was saying, time to grow. You ignored that. It's time to grow. You ignored that. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Now, hear me. It's time to grow. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Share a moment when you knew that it was time for you to grow. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. It would probably be uh, the biggest one was when I started my business, Pension Associates. Uh, I was a dean. And uh, you know how when you start a job and, or a career, you know, and the Kool-Aid is red, honey. You are drinking the mess out of that company Kool-Aid. You are drinking it, honey. And then as the years go by and the mess comes through, the Kool-Aid gets lighter and lighter and ain't no sugar, can't even bring no taste. Well, honey, my Kool-Aid was looking like water at this point. Okay. Honey, I think it had a light red tint to it, honey. A light red tint if it had that much tint at all. Mm -hmm. And then one day he kept saying, it's time for you to elevate. It's time for you to help people the way you know you should be helping people and stop helping people the way they tell you to help people. Okay? The steel voice started moving. Mm. Oh, and then he started bringing me people that I could help and serve. I knew I could turn it out, but mm. I couldn't do it because, you know, regulations. And I had mm. to start turning people away. But he was like, I'm bringing you these people for a reason. Why are you turning them away? I'm turning yep. them away, Lord, because this is what they said. I just stood up. And yep. then so he got a little louder. I'm still bringing you these people. What do you think this is? And then I kept pushing back. Then one day, he snatched back. Mm -hmm. He took the obstacles out the way. So I had to start my business. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had to start it the way I needed to start. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, I will always be a professor to the day I die. You know, that's mm -hmm. just what I do. And so I, I do have, I did find a university that uh, let me be me, mm -hmm. wasn't tracking me, mm -hmm. wasn't stalking me, knew who I was. I shared everything I did publicly. Dude, mm -hmm. they even come to my events. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so with that being said, sometimes you have to work your purpose. My purpose is to educate the masses. I know this. I've known this since I was five years old, but I tried to run around the tree and through the bush. And what did I end up being a professor in the end? Mm -hmm. I knew the day I walked into kindergarten and looked at my statuesque teacher and said, that's what I want to be. Mm -hmm. But I was running from it, okay? But now with this, I teach with Finch and Associates. Mm -hmm. I travel around the world and I teach social media. Mm -hmm. I teach motivation. I teach empowerment. I teach mm -hmm. people where they need to be. 
-hmm. not just what they tell me I need to teach. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I'm a coach now. I get to sit in sessions and in relate to my people, resonate with my people, help them move to their next level. I get to help them, guide them to their greater. When they were telling me that I shouldn't do this, mm. okay? When they were telling me that this was not needed, when they were oh. telling me, look, we are just a meal, honey. Come the way on. they were telling them people through there. Come, Come on. Through. But you know what? But he kept bringing me the people that I needed. Mm -hmm. He kept carrying me the people that needed me. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. I'm standing my truth. Do you understand? Do you understand? Come on. But, whoo, Jesus. And because of that, now this wonderful team has formed because I stood in my purpose. And because I stood in my purpose, I called her out on a live stream. And now her business is what I called her out about. <laughs> Come on. But we sitting there, got these gifts, mm -hmm. got these motivations, got these passions, got these giftings. Come on. And we just sitting there watching them rot. Oh, my children need me right now. My husband needs me right now. Oh, my job can't run without me. Trust and believe. If you leave that job today, they're going to have another button that seat within the next two weeks. Come through. Mm -hmm. The only reason why they don't have another button that seat is because they want to save your salary. Mm -hmm. Come on. All right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm just saying. I'm mm -hmm. just saying, Vanessa. Why don't you share before I get up in here and get get ready to start preaching? <laughs> well, I knew that it was time for change when um, it, it was it was strange. Um, I was battling with so many things. I had just lost my brother, just had a car accident, um, had my first grandbaby on the way, was miserable with my job, would never promote me to another position because I didn't qualify for that job, but then oh, turned around oh. and ended up um, doing a, the, the position anyway. Uh, wouldn't get paid my worth, um, all of that good stuff. And then it got to the point I spoke up. And I used my voice that I kept silent for so long because, you know, in a job, the door is open, as they say, but it's oh. really not open. And so as I use my voice to be able to express certain things professionally, of course, but it was like mm, behind the scenes, they don't like that. You, you, you know, you need to be quiet. And so they started like basically it was torture. Mm -hmm. It was torture to, for like three months. I was tortured. And I started getting chest pains. Um, I was getting sick. I wouldn't get out the bed. I was miserable. My Come kids were worried about me, everything. And so um, this one particular moment, I said, you know, my Lord, you have your way because I don't know what's going on. But this right here, I'm a single mother. And this right here, I can't continue to go on like this. Mm -hmm. And Lord and behold, it will be seven years next month. No, it'll be nine years Next month, March 15th, when I got laid off that job. And when I say nine years, nine whole years, <laughs> I have not worked for anybody else. Now, I didn't say. Hold on. I got I got to I got to stop you on this. You said March 15th, March 15th. Yes, ma'am. Guess what? The papers for changing minds online was filed March 16th, 2016. That ain't nothing but God. That ain't nothing but God. I... Okay. So then, after all yes, that, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that's go ahead. crazy, right? And so then, after that happened, um, I, I was able to be here for my grandchild, do all the things. And our mindset, again, you go back into that mode of, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to get my unemployment. And I'm going to go out there, put myself back in the job market. Field. And every time I went out for a job, I knew I qualified for that job wouldn't happen. Two years later, still couldn't find a job. 20 years experience, still couldn't find a job. I took a leap of faith and I invested in myself with my unemployment check and been blessed not to look back. And it's been seven years later next month. Mm -hmm. And so I've been able to accomplish a lot. Now, I didn't say it was easy. 
because through that two years of me tussling with myself, battling with myself, I was, I fell into deep depression. I, God was showing me how to, you know, removing all these people that's not about to go on this journey where he's about to get ready to take me. He knew that that was more for me, but on that job, it wasn't for me. He has something bigger for me. And so in this journey, I was, I just started writing, just writing more and more and more. And as I continued to write the one book that I said I was going to write now turns into many books. And so with those books, they deep, they're raw, they're healing is my journey of my pain. But imagine I did not know how many people were experiencing the same pain, but just don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. And so I turned around, more people kept reaching out to me when they found out I had self-published all my books. Now I work with other people to self-publish their books. That was not my, my, my decision. Mm -hmm. My, I need y'all to understand the key word, my decision, because if it was up to me. I just said, I want to do my one book. That was it. That's all. But like I said, there's bigger, there's that elevation, there's that growth, there's that pushing and that tucking. He said, there's more for you. Write in your book, amen, you did it, congratulations. However, there's more people that want to be able to share their story to Vanessa, and I'm going to bring them your way. I, I ain't want to do it, remember, we are here. Never I know. You know, and so then we turn, I turned around, wrote these books, help other people write their books, and then now here we go again, another uh -huh. journey. Helping doing the anthologies, another journey. Next thing you know, there was I need more from you. Huh? And now I'm in a fog. Uh -huh. And I'm not understanding what, what's going on with this fog. I'm 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 confused. Uh -huh. See, when you listen to that silent voice, he will give you the answer. You may not like the answer, but he but will provide right? the answer. Right? So yes. I was I took off and it happened twice now. August, it seems like that's the month where he said, I need you to sit down. Sit down. I got something to tell you. And I'm like, okay. But see, when you have that relationship, you need to pay attention. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I just started to pay more and more attention to what he was telling me. Mm -hmm. And that's what he said. I need you to give my children more. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Give them more? Well, what you want me to get them? Look, I gave you the books. I'm transparent. What's the problem? No, no. I need you to get them more. So, and through that whole month of August, I turned around. He said, okay, by the time the end of August, he said, you are going to announce your conference that's happening in November. I said, what? Yeah, that's going to happen in November. See, this is the thing. People say they don't know their purpose when he laid it all out for you. All right now. And he laid that bad boy out for me. Because, you know, you are not respected in your own city. So, I need you to go somewhere else. And I had to go to Maryland. Why am I going to Maryland? I'm here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. See, again, you got to get up out your comfort zone. And so I had to get up off that comfort zone, go to Maryland, have a conference. Mm -hmm. The conference was absolutely amazing. See, people didn't believe in it then, but now they want to know how. how. How can I get to the next one? But see, you got to understand that purpose, that thing, that, that thing, that little tiny seed of faith. You just, you may not have all the answers, but I'm telling you, if you just listen. And so then the turns around, I did the conference. Not only did I do the conference, the next one working on in Chicago for July of this year. See, we have to remember, he snatched you out that situation for a reason. He snatched you out that broken relationship for a reason. He snatched you out that broken dysfunctional decision that you can't make it for a reason. He snatched you to make a better decision. He snatched you. He keeps snatching you and he keeps saving you, but you're still not listening. How much more snatching do you need? Uh -huh. But then you keep asking him to show me the purpose. I'm showing you the purpose. I just need you to show for yourself. I need you to take action. I need you to move. I, I'm giving you the blueprint. I'm giving you the blueprint. Because who puts on conference? I don't put on no conference. But he will bring those people to be able to show you the things that you know that, that he knows that you need for that conference, for whatever that next is. But there is always a next because you are not born just to be able to work a job as slave for somebody else. You are born to do more, to be able to leave an impact in this world. And if you don't believe that and you still tossing and turn, turning in the middle of the night, he's still telling you what you need to do. I don't know what to tell you, boo. You keep praying for something, but then you go right, right back around and leave it with fear. 
Come on now. So how much more? How much more are you going to continue to stay in a, a broken, complacent place because you're comfortable? But you know you want to be able to live a life. You want to be able to do more. You want to be able to have the freedom. You want to be able to uh, show people that there's a better way. You want to understand that I know I deserve better. I'd rather connect with people who is willing to be able to show me better, who's genuine. And the most amazing thing, every single thing that I said about that conference, that I wanted intimate, that I wanted to be able to connect with those people, that I want to still stay connected with those people after the conference. How many times do you go to a conference and you still stay connected with the people after the conference? How many times do you turn around and go to a conference they sell you from the front door to the back door to the front stage to the backstage? That's something I did not want. Every single thing that I said, I do not want. And what is needed, God showed me the vision and all I had to do was show up. Mm. that was it and um, so now people knocking on the door how can i get in all right now how can i get in but see what if i didn't do it what if those lives wouldn't been changed those decisions they wouldn't been elevated because people are still in a place when they leave those broken conferences i said it those broken conferences they got to go back home they go back home, they hype. But then when it's all said and done, wait a minute, what did I really get from the conference? To be seen? You going to a conference to be seen? Oh. Are you going to a conference to be able to get the blueprint of how is it possible to be able to grow, to be able to evolve, and to be able to connect with real people? That's not about floss and fakeness on social media. I'd rather be around those people if it's 25, then come on. And so what if I'd accept the challenge? What if I gave in to um, my mother telling me, you write these books, you must be broken. But now how many books do I have now? How many Ooh. lives have been changed now? Oh, my my footprints are, 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 look, I'm just saying, I got footprints somewhere up in this world. But if I gave in to that, if I gave into the, the mindset of people who don't understand because they choose not to live in their purpose, uh -huh. then I would become a duplication of them. And I would show my children how to be a duplication of that and show my grandchildren how to be a duplication of that. At some point, you got to stop giving your oxygen mask to people who don't give a care if you suffocate or not. All right. Okay. Ooh, that was good. That was good. That was good. And you know, she was talking about how she has made footprints in life. Um, because of her uh, pushing me, I actually got this accomplished. Okay, hello, hello. That, that right there, yay, yay, yay. And that was my very first anthology. And I didn't want to write that. They tried to get me to write that for three years. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Three years. And what turned into a, a one book is now what? A four book series. The second mm -hmm. book, Social uh, Media Preneurs, is on its way out. Then we're going to follow it with Coach Preneurs. Then we're going to follow it with Educator Preneurs. And people are like, why did you start with, start with empowerment, social media? coaching and uh education because those are the four areas that i have purpose in so was i misusing my purpose wow you know that was a good hit home because it's like when these books start coming out it's not just for me it was other people who were purpose for these things. They had a story to come out and wanted to be part of the story. Okay. They wanted a platform where they felt safe to put their stories out. They wanted a platform where they knew that they were going to be with like-minded individuals that are not just trying to make a buck, but are trying to be family. Yes. The yes, people yes. in this book have become family. And let me yes. tell you something. 
you know, when you come together with people that are like-minded, you tend to stay with them. You tend to roll with them. Case in point, Vanessa is having her conference, bbuconference.com, and July. And I don't think she mentioned that, but you know, there it is. And because she's doing that, what did she do? She didn't go out looking for speakers. No, she came to the village. Okay. Three of these authors are speakers on her conference, including the keynote speaker. Okay. She didn't need to go any further. She didn't have to put out any speakers applications because she had the village right there in her back pocket all right thank you so much and you know at the end of the day when we are doing things we need to stop doing it for the buck for the coin yes we yes. need to start doing it for the glory of thee what mm -hmm. is this part of my purpose? Mm -hmm. Is this going to be pleasing in his sight? Is yes. this going to elevate others to their greatness? Yes. All those things. Mm -hmm. All those things. Mm -hmm. All right. But no, instead, we want to chase the coin. Am I getting enough coin? Is my PayPal blinging? Am I being seen enough? Do I have enough content so I can put it all over the social media so that I look good? Ooh, no, you didn't. I'm in social media. I teach people how to look good. Mm -hmm. and yes, I said it. And it needed to be said. I need you to say that again. I'm sorry. Can you, I'm sorry to hear you. Somebody hear you in the back. That needs okay. to be said again. All right. So look, why don't we start doing things to lift to the power of thee? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the numbers drop now. Mm -hmm. The numbers <laughs> drop now that I'm talking about that. Okay, let's, you know, I need y'all to get y'all friends and family back up in this talk. Everybody, <laughs> please take a moment. Hold on, Dr. Finch, because um, can y'all please, if this right here resonate with you guys, I need you guys to share this out. Because it's not to be able to put on a facade because that's something we don't do. The thing is, it's so hard to find divine connections with people who are genuine, who are not afraid to see you in. It's not a competition at all. Because Dr. Finch, both of our, uh, we coaches. Yeah. We did two different types of coaches. But at the end of the day, me and her, nobody could come in between us. Nobody. And trust and believe. There's many a people that tried it and still try it to this day. That's how you need to get with some real people who don't even sit there and say, well, I heard you say this. When you know that person, you don't have to go back and repeat it. All right. We, you don't have to go back and repeat it because I already built that relationship. I don't call Dr. French my, oh, she's my best partner because we are, we co-host on. No, that's my sister. That's my sister. So I don't have to worry about my sister going to say something. See, blood, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got the most toxic blood relationships because we got the same bloodline. Mm -hmm. But then you can find those people that's not in your bloodline that could be the ones that have your front, your side, your back, going to call you out when you wrong, going to love you when you wrong, still make sure that you get it right. That's the thing. We we have to make sure that we change the um how people the compass. Let's yes. change the compass. Yes. Because it's is is not right how so many people are doing things the ways that they put on this facade. You don't get blessed with mess. That's right. You just don't. That's right. So when when Dr. Fish has her event that's coming up in um in September, if you really, you genuine with Dr. Fitch, you're going to rock with Dr. Fitch, you're going to be at that event. That's right now. I'm going to be there. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you Nobody are. can tell me or, or sell me on anything to persuade me to do different. Nothing could come in between that. And just like she rocking with me for my conference, how will we both put on conferences the same year? We didn't look like, girl, no. 
You can't put it on this time because, no, we had a conversation. What's the best month for you so I can block it off? What's the best month for you so I can block it off? Vanessa, you got another book coming out so I can make sure that my book don't come out the same time your book? It's called a conversation because it's genuine. That's right. We don't compete. Get you a good sister girl that ain't going to compete with you. Get with you a good sister girl that you could be able to say, I got me a good old village. One thing that I prayed for and I posted up, people thought I was crazy. I'm looking for my village at the Breaking Bears Unapologetic Conference. When I say I got a good old village, she I does. got a good old village. She does. I can sit there. We could be able to put stuff in this village. We ain't got to worry about somebody got diarrhea at the mouth and go and spread it. Go post it here. Go post it there. None of that. Oh, well, you you just starting out. So I can't get with you. I can't, you know, no, nah, I've already been seven years in the game. But I can't know. Well, well, how can I help you? What's going on? What's the problem? What do you need help with? What is it? All right, now. Both of us experienced that. Yeah. Both of us. We got to, I'm going to go there. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Well, hold on. Before you go there, let's, let's invite these people into the conversation because they've been talking. Oh, I'm so talking to yeah, yeah. Oh, you so you know, you know, we, 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 you know, we're so used to just being us. We got to, you know, we got to bring our people. In. <laughs> we got to bring y'all in. So let's bring y'all in. So okay, hold on. So what we got here? All right, come on, y'all helping me. Hey, All right. Okay. Hey, Krishan. Hey, hey, hey. Now. Hey, hey, hey. I see Miss Regina pulled and popped in there. Hello, Regina. Yes. So Y'all need to know Miss Regina. All right, let's see what else we got in here. All right, you know, we blessing people. Here is Tanisha. Yes, Thank her oh, all right. Now, I see that picture, honey. You struggling, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we have one of our speakers, uh, Vanessa speakers in here today, Dr. Pamela Caldwell. Yes. yes. And she is a member of uh, one of the authors in the Empowerpreneurs book. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all are resonating with the topic. Yes. yes. Taylor, she's like, love the series concept. Yes. yes. Let's be clear. Sometimes you have to open the door so that other people can see. You have to open the door so they can see that they can do it too. You know, when the let can I break it down, Vanessa? Yes, down? yes please, I'm please. Yes. So I, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all the story. I lost my lost my mind on this little little old white man, and and I I did I did, but it had a purpose. So he yes. asked a question. He says, you know, why is it that different uh, races have different groups. They separate mm -hmm. them. But, you know, uh, but if other people do it, then they're called something else. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had a nice lady that articulated it very well for him, you know, and said, you know, you have to have a safe spot to ask those type of questions and da 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 Oh, then I got up. I'm going to say, let me, I, I needed him to understand this. I said, I am one of those people that you're talking about. I started a conference for people of color uh, that are in social media, women in tech and STEM, who are not being appreciated for what they do, that are not being uh, seen for what they do. And they asked me, why did you start this when there's so many conferences out there that's doing the same thing? I said, mm -hmm. let's talk about that. There's a particular conference in question that has over 200 speakers. And out of those 200 speakers, there's four people that are the same shade as me, and all of them are men. Do I feel appreciated? Do I feel wanted? Do I feel valued? No. No, I don't. When I know that there are many women that look like women, <laughs> let's not look like me, that are killing the game in social media every day. They are the background to be a focused foreground. Let's get mm -hmm. clear. All right. So at the end of the day, but they sitting back there. Yeah, they making their coin, but they making their private coin because two people are scared to bring them out to the forefront. Guess what? I said I'm tired of that. 
Okay. And you know, and they were like, well, you know, I don't feel this way. I don't think you do. That's why we having this conversation. I said, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that other people don't. Yeah. Okay. So let's be clear. When we are out there working in our purpose mm -hmm. and the door slammed in our face, when we mm -hmm. get the chair pulled out from under us at the table, sometimes we have to realize that we're not welcome at that table until they mm -hmm. see our value and our worth. And what do they do to see our value and our worth? We make our own and then have them beg to be at eyes. How about Come that? on, come, come, Kena. Come on now. See, this is the thing I love so much about Kena because we have these conversations a lot of people don't know. But when we both started out, so many people overlooked us. So many people overlooked us. Oh, you don't fit, you this, you that, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then now that Dr. Fetch has her conference, the conference was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, just to see us come together. I mean, it was the most amazing. And this is how I, how I, I can tell on, you man. that it was amazing. My daughter came in with me. Mm -hmm. My daughter has her own hairline business. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But anyway. <laughs> you better have it on. Was 20, 23. 23. 23. 23. Okay. So she was 23 at the time. And so she came into the conference with me. We came in the day before we left out that Sunday. So it's after like, what, four days? Mm -hmm. And so now she hears Dr. Finch name all the time. So to meet her in person, it was like she now she put the face to the name. Uh -huh. Now we have the conference and everything. And um, I didn't know this. Other people was telling me this. And she watched my every move. Like she hear you know me speak or what have you, but it was a different moment when your child see you in your purpose. What's the name of this topic? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. That's right. She see me in my purpose. She see me getting pulled in different directions. She's seeing people want to hear my story. She looking at me and just with her eyes are full. Like, I see my mom, but I see, ooh, I see something else, right? And so she knows the struggle. She knew the things that we experienced as me being a single mother and, and that income is not the same after you get laid off. She's mm -hmm. seen the people that walked away when now they can use you up. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. so, she, so at this conference, she seen somebody totally different. Okay. My daughter, she said that was the best thing ever. Not only did she get to see her mother, she got to learn more about her business. She turned around and she was able, my mother, my daughter works, whoo, she works long hours. Well, before she had the baby. <laughs> but then she turns around and she was able to relax, right? But then here's the thing. When it was all said and done and, a, and, and the noise was calming, my daughter started trouble. She did. She seen something because I don't, I don't do for myself. I'm always doing for others, right? Mm -hmm. So she had, we found them all, Lord and Jesus. So we was able to go to the mall, but it was the car was full now. We had the, some of the speakers that was there, some of the attendees. We had a good old time. And these are the people that we met for the first time, but we went to that conference and we did damage. <laughs> but it was beautiful. She didn't look at her as, oh, this little child. She was the youngest one. Mm -hmm. They didn't look at her no different. They said, oh, that's just Vanessa's child. No, they looked at her as an individual. And then after we left the, the, the mall, we turned around and he, we had went to out to dinner. They included her in this conversation. Do you know my daughter business is shot up? But then it shot up even higher this year. Mm -hmm. My daughter is in labor. In labor. A month ago, she had the baby. And she turns around, mama. Um, I need you to go and do this. I think I'm her sister now. <laughs> <laughs> and she has blown her business out the water. And that was because she attended that conference. Whew. So it's, it's so important that we look at, oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. Dr. Finch said something to me, and I'm going to want to put it up eventually. She said something at the conference to me. And she said, Vanessa, 
she, you know, Dr. Finch, I'm going to learn something about Dr. Finch because I learn something about her every day. But when she said how, what she learned at the conference, see, this is the thing. You people be thinking that, you know, because you got this doctor in front of your name, you can't learn nothing. Y'all better stop. And Dr. Fish shared. She didn't have to, but because she's transparent. She don't put on no facade. She's transparent, right? But then she turns around and she looked at me and she said, Vanessa, you're going to be doing this conference again next year. Because people need what you have. And I was like, what? I, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. No. Because it's needed. And I didn't realize how much it was needed to be able to help people to not live and stay and reside and die in oh. broken places where they no longer belong. Oh, I know. And so... People need to understand if you're going to break some barriers, Come on now. you got to be willing to be transparent. If you're willing to break some barriers, you got to be willing to be vulnerable. When you want to break some barriers, you got to be willing to face those things that you've been running away from. When you're willing to break some barriers, mm -hmm. you want to be in a, a safe place. A safe place. It was so many things that transpired at that conference. My, my, my. It was so powerful. Intimate and powerful. It's yeah. nothing that you can really describe. People were asking, how? How was it? Well, you should have been there. Come on now. Come and when on. they seen everything being posted up on social media, dang, now I should have been well, should have, could have, and would have, but now you got an opportunity to go ahead and attend the one in July in Chicago. It was so, so powerful. When I say it was so powerful. When God gave me that vision when I was stuck, remember when I kept saying, Dr. Finch? He keeps showing me a circle. He keeps showing me linking arms. He keeps showing me this, that it needs to be in the picture. And when we got that video back, that was the most craziest thing. And we never put the video up. Why? Because that was our intimate moment at that conference. It was the most powerful thing ever. That's right. When we did the... um. The other activity, right? And people started right. seeing the. Uh, I want to. I was trying to describe to somebody, Dr. Mama Finch. She was trying to describe to one of her friends. She said, "Okay, now hold on, daughter. What's the script that you said? <laughs> what script, baby? Problem. What are you talking about?" She said, "That was a script where you was telling us about the event, about the um, we had there was it um, the pearls thing. I'm not going all in details because you should have been there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But." It was the most amazing thing because it was power in what we was doing at that moment. It was so powerful mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it broke off chains in that room. Mm -hmm. When I say people did not walk out the same way they walked in. Come on now. That room was so powerful. The Holy Ghost was all up in that. But again, what if I didn't follow through what God told me to do? Come on. Did we'll follow through on that job. We'll be committed to that job. We'll be committed to these people that don't give a darn about us. We'll be committed to all of that. But when God says, I need you to move and you're not moving and you wonder why nothing is being blessed on a level that you wanted to be blessed on. Ooh. Ooh. See, people be putting these tickets out here about 300, 300 tickets, $500 tickets. And then you wonder why you going back and you still haven't learned nothing. You a stalemate. You can't reach back out to them without them sending you an invoice. I'm sorry. Did I say that? Girl. We, we got to do better. We have to do better. And that's why I love when I attended the conference with Dr. Finch. My, my, my. It was the most amazing thing. I'm, I'm excited about going to the next one. And I'm not just saying this. Oh, let me just hype them up. I'm not. Look, I'm not no hype woman. I'm just not doing it. But I'm telling you because of the things that I learned. The oh. things that I, my daughter got to see her mother's eyes in a different way. Oh. And then to see the end result of businesses growing, connections that was made, yes. friendships that was formed. Yes. You know what I mean? That was amazing. You could see people on social media. I want to see how you really are off social media. That's the question. Uh -huh. And when uh -huh. you get to see them off social media, I did one interview with one of the speakers. The next day, someone who was watching that interview 
purchase her ticket and get down to the conference. Yes. You know, she's like, I've seen that interview. I had to get down there because so many people kept sleeping on Dr. Fish just like they sleep on Vanessa Canterbury. And now they want to know, how can I be connected with you? I don't know what type of connection you're talking about. So make sure that you connect with people that want to see you win. Mm -hmm. I don't care about what industry you're in. They mm -hmm. want to see you win. They want to celebrate your success. Mm -hmm. We we we. It's so much we got to do out here. Mm -hmm. We all got a piece of this puzzle, mm -hmm. and everybody want to be. I want God to be pleased with me, but are you listening to what God has called you to do? Come on now. So don't misuse your purpose. Don't sleep on your purpose just to be able to show other people that um. I can't do that right now because you're not ready. I'm going to wait till you're ready and then I'm going to start my purpose. Don't delay your blessing because somebody else don't get it. You know, thank you, Vanessa. I'm going to put this up here while we're talking about this. Um, I needed to hear that, you know, and people need to hear that. To hear that a 23-year-old can sit there and hang out with us ogres and learn. The millennials are paying attention. The baby boomers are paying attention. The Gen Xers are paying attention. Mm -hmm. We got to put it out there. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's about the way that we position the thing. You know, mm -hmm. I realize that I'm a thought leader archetype. Mm -hmm. I want people, when they leave something that I do, live stream or no, I want them to receive i want them to be changed i want them to be blue okay some people mm -hmm. are to the power of me but i'm mm -hmm. to the power of them mm -hmm. i've always been that way okay mm -hmm. and because i need others to grow i need others to flourish i need others to lift to so that our next generations can see that this is possible take the reign and handle they be okay mm -hmm. but what i want to say about both of the conferences in general is this is a place where intimate contact happens this is a place where intimate relationships happen this is a place where when you come in you are going to be a different person when you go out because this is what these conferences are designed for you may not be seen by a lot of people but you'll be seen by the right people you'll be seen by people that care i just saw one of my speakers had a wedding and she met another speaker at my uh in my event now they're best friends and that that speaker was sitting in her way okay you know, mm -hmm. I see two, uh, one, two of the speakers got together. Now they are having a coaching relationship and they're elevating together. I see different vendors got together and now they're coming together with projects and products. You know, mm -hmm. I, you know, I see growth. I see the people that were in the conferences coming together, doing collaborations because they were in the right place in the right space. When you see breakthroughs, when you see people that don't trust nobody, ask to get on your stage and tell about their testimony and then buy every book that the, one of the speakers have and pass it out to everybody. Yeah, yeah, I see that, because yes. We're blessed. Yeah. Do you understand? You know, this right here is what we're talking about. And, you know, we do a lot of things together. We do a lot of empowerment stuff together. You know, if you are resonating with us, you can follow us here on this motivation station. You know, look at the ticker. Now, with all of this being said, I want to hear from you because y'all are talking to us in these comments. And I'm getting ready to put these comments up. And Hold I want one second. You. This girl over here got me over here tearing up. Look, Jesus. Sometimes you don't know your message. Mm -hmm. will really help someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Tanisha, she was at the conference. Oh, yes. I'm going to put it up there. Jesus, this girl, I love Tanisha. I'm trying. You over here tore me up with that one. 
And I remember, we didn't even know this was going on with Tanisha. She had turned around at the very end of the conference and her mom was, um, was sick. Mm -hmm. They didn't know exactly what was going on. Um, but at that conference, we had made these, um, these bracelets. And with these bracelets, it was a meaning behind it. And everybody had their own meaning. I'm not going to go into details because it was for those in that room. And so when she had came up there, she turned around and she said, um, she had made a bracelet for her mother. And um, that's when she told us what was really going on. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens at Breaking Barriers. You become transparent, vulnerable, because you got to get this thing off of you because it'll kill you. Yeah, it'll destroy you. That's right. And so her mother, um, unfortunately, she had passed away. But when she posted that, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. I remember that bracelet. I remember the conversation. Um, but, but that's what happens. But there's the more. There's more, Vanessa. See? What she say? Oh, Lord Jesus. She says, I didn't truly begin living in my purpose until she passed. And I was let go from my job in December after be after being out of out for my mom for three months. Okay, so that conference, that bracelet, all of that, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about right here. And believe it or not, the story I was telling about um, the speaker connecting one of the speakers, the speaker that I was talking about that was sitting at her friend's wedding because she met her at my conference. She rolled in here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You're a change the subject. Good Lord, to me. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, hello, uh, uh, Shonda, we were talking about you and Nina <laughs> and the relationship y'all have because y'all met at the conference. So wonderful, wonderful stuff. Yes, I mean- It's so important. It's it, so important. It's really so important. You know, yeah. and we're doing it again. We're giving people a platform and Rashonda has a wonderful conference as well. You know, we give people platforms yeah, so that they can be their better self, so mm -hmm. they can feel comfortable. We're going to pull out many tables. We, You know how the long tables, they have these long tables, right? Mm -hmm. Remember we had this conversation? Yeah. So... Many people, when you go to these conferences, you have to be able to be the one to mm -hmm. sit at that table. Mm -hmm. The one thing about the conference, we're going to have tables mm -hmm. so you can sit at the table where you belong. Come on now. Come on now. We, we got to stop saying, oh, well, you know, I don't qualify. Who said you don't qualify? And why are you believing it? Get to the conference so your table, so you could be able to not only make connections, but you could sit at the table where you belong mm -hmm. and watch what transforms in that room. And then let's have a conversation. Come on. Then let's have a conversation. You, you got to stop thinking that you don't qualify. See, we got this mentality because that's the W2 mindset. We only think that we could be able to do this. We only qualify for this. We only got this much experience. We only got this. Do you know life experience is the best experience? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And so if you turn around and you sit with speakers because they so-called seasoned speakers, that don't mean anything. Seasoned coaches, that don't mean anything. Come and get your table, your table, your chair at the seat of the table. Is nobody going to sit at the head? We all going to sit together at the table so we can be able to be on the same level. Mm -hmm. So you and I, she and I, all of us together, we going to do this again. That's going to, that's calling winning. That's thing that's calling focus. That's thing that's calling laser focus on our purpose. Yeah. You know, we're not gonna misuse our purpose no more. So you want to get to the conference? Come on over. Get to the Breaking Bear Unapologetic Conference. Get over to the Social Power Summit Conference. Yes, yes, yes. You gonna learn something more mm -hmm. than what you ever expected. Well, 
you know, once again, this is one of those things that one of our viewers called the pop and pre. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's what happens when a dynamic duo get together, though. Oh Lord, you know, we planned on giving y'all thirty minutes and uh, raw, so we went over there. Uh, but, <laughs> but the thing is that we're here to build connections, and we're going to be here every third Monday of the month. We're going to be mm -hmm. right here. And then in the process, you can catch us on the podcast and all the things. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, if you want to see us in person, you can see us in Chicago and mm -hmm. uh, in uh, July in Nashville, Tennessee in September. Yes, that's where all this accent comes from, the Nashville. Mm -hmm. And so I say all this to say, let's build this community. Let's build a tribe. Mm hmm. Okay, so I'm I got an announcement. Take it up with the good old Lord. Okay. All right. So let me take this down here. All right. What what's the announcement, dear? They go over there and they get their tickets. I will make the switch soon we get off. And they could be able to get their VIP tickets for ninety nine dollars until the end of the month. Woo, shut up, honey. Till the end of February. Good twenty eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good 228. Y'all get to get mm -hmm. those VIP tickets for $99. Shut the front door. Shut it up. <laughs> Take it up with the good old Lord. I, I don't know. Even the hotel suites are $99. Hotel suite, not a hotel room. It's a, a hotel, hotel suite, suite is $99. Yes. When I say this guy that. really blessed this, <laughs> he truly, truly blessed this. It, this look, it has nothing to do with me. I'm just doing okay. my assignment. So, so I gotta put the link up here so the people could go. There's the link, mm -hmm. ladies. You gotta go over there and 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 get your tickets. Get your tickets. And I'll make the switch as soon as we get off. And that's for July. So get those tickets first, then you go over mm -hmm. there and get the one for the social power summit. Yes, yes. And we got to see y'all there. So. I mean, the surprises that I have for the Social Power Summit, I was pulling some stuff. I was pulling some stuff. And guess what? I ain't telling nobody. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. the, the speakers, if you want to know who the speakers are, y'all got to go to the website. They up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add some more, but the uh, preliminary ones are on the website right now. Yeah. And But my surprise, surprises, mm -mm -mm. You know, I learned that you got to give them more than what they expected. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you I'm giving y'all more than what y'all expect, woo, it's getting ready to be fire. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. fire. You want to be in the house. You want to be in the house. Mm -hmm. All right. Woo. But thank you so much, everybody, for hanging in with us. Yes, this you know, has been really a blessing. This, and then I'm going to give you the other link here. This is the other link. That's for the Social Power Summit. Mm -hmm. And go over there and get all of that good stuff. And, I mean, it's going to be amazing. And we have more stuff to come. You know, but definitely come over here for uh, every third Monday. We mm -hmm. might sit build, you know, you know, so they won't be so long. We, I guess we just felt like we need to talk because we ain't talked in forever. But, right. but you know, we, we need to do this. So here we are. And mm -hmm. then, of course, we also want to make sure we're hearing from you. So come over to the Change Your Minds Online page. Listen to those podcasts. Tell us what, what you think about them. Uh, mm -hmm. Replay viewers. Put your stuff in the comments. Uh, viewers that are here and y'all have some afterthoughts, put it in the comments. We mm -hmm. want to come with you. We will answer these after we get off. No worries. Yes. So we just want to hear from you. So welcome to people who are just learning about us. Welcome back to all the ones who do know about us. And we just want to say, you know, thank you so much for all you do. Make sure you grab a hold to that uh, Motivate Soldier podcast on all of your favorite places. And mm -hmm. you know, hear what we got to serve because we are bringing you people who are changing the world via social media. So 
Vanessa is the one that you need to talk to about getting booked. All right. Yeah. And you get booked here. Here. Short. Mm -hmm. Short for only a short season. Yes. That, yes. That, that, you know, I only put this up here for a short season. Mm -hmm. yes, sure you have this in your uh, toolbox. Send mm -hmm. that over to Vanessa because Vanessa's coming <laughs> back. I have no tech. He had yeah. those people. Hey, yeah. Yeah. There you go. All and right. those tickets are changed. Everything has changed. Everything's changed, y'all. So we will see y'all in a few. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah! And good night, everyone. Good night.